Anthony L. Elmore, five-time world karate kickboxing champion from Memphis, Tennessee, bringing you an exciting story. My story today is called Regents, Racism, and Black-on-Black -black Discrimination. We black people need to bring up the conversation of black-on-black -black discrimination. Come join me as I tell you this story as I am challenging black officers at Regions Bank who treated me with discrimination and racism. Let's go to Regions Bank and I will tell you my story. It would be misleading to imply that Regions Bank was racist or discriminating. I opened a Regions account at 3307 Poplar Avenue years ago and all I can comment on is the fact that I got great service. On or about March 1st, 2018, we needed documents notarized. Instead of going to my Regents branch at 3307 Poplar Avenue, my wife who gets off work at about 3.30, 3.30, we asked her to meet us at 2800 Lamar, whereas we could get documents notarized and she can open up her a Regents account. Our experience at 2800 Lamar Avenue was a sheer disaster that escalated into an embroglio that led to insults and barbs. The bank officer was an imp and did not know her job. The circumstance took a deeper turn when the manager Miss Terentia Crockett interceded into our meeting. The perception regarding this matter, it appeared that Terentia Crockett and that officer were lovers, and Terentia Crockett literally told us to get the hell out of her bank. She refused to service us. We were so upset that I went to Regions Bank at 330 Poplar Avenue and not only complained, I asked the con I asked for the contact information of her superior, um, Mr. Dedrick Hayes. I informed Mr. Hayes that I got the perception that Miss Crockett and the officer who dealt with us were lovers and that we were not only treated with disregard and disrespect, my wife was in reasons to open an account at my suggestion and insistence and we were so insulted that she that my wife refused to open an account they treated us very and you know, with a very mean spirit mr hayes apologized and i had promised that we would be treated with respect i followed up with the conversation in a detailed email to Dedrick Hayes on March 5th, 2018. I asked my wife uh, that we would get an apology and she agreed to open account on March 6th, 2018. She never got that apology, but we thought the matter was over. Now, on March 15th, 2018, I had an issue depositing a check that I cashed into my account. Uh, I generally cash checks uh, for of my installers or workers. I cash the check and I deposit those checks into my account. Now, this event of my cashing a check at 2800 Lamar, not I was just only depositing a check, Miss Gwen Allen and I, who was an officer, we had a conversation uh, about the matter. Now, what I encountered in Ms. Allen was a culture, a racist culture. Now, what I found is that what you have at 2800 Lamar, you have a culture of emboldened, aggressive women who serve us 38114, which is predominantly or, or probably absolutely a black neighborhood basically orange mound the first black neighborhood in america built for blacks by blacks what you have is a racist culture 
and that you have black people who run the bank, but you have the type or character of black people who are who are educated, powerful, and they're authoritative in these positions, and they have a disregard for respect for the people. Now, I was treated as if I was a thug off the street. Now, I went to my bank at 3307 Poplar Avenue and reported my concerns to the officer, Mr. Gabriel per Person. Now, I followed up my meeting with Mr. Uh, Pearson with a letter to Mr. Dedrick Hayes and with an email and a text dated March 15, 2018. We asked Dedrick Hayes to answer our concerns. Now, let us tell you how Dedrick Hayes got back with us. See, what you have is at Reasons Bank, they use racism and black on black discrimination. I want you to view a letter from Regions Bank, whereas the envelope was handwritten and postmarked on March 22, 2018. The letter was dated March 20, 2018. Now, let me explain how Regions Bank, Dedrick Hayes, Terentia Crawford, and Gwen Allen used racism and black on black discrimination to disadvantage Anthony F. Elmore and Elmore Carpets. You see, these black officers were complicit and racist in that they used fraud and race-baited innuendo to retaliate against Anthony Elmore by saying that I was a threat to their security and a risk. And so what that enabled them to do was commit collusion and fraud. So what they did was they closed my bank account. See, this is how we frame discrimination. You see, my region's bank account is at 3307 Poplar Avenue. It is not the policy of Regions Bank to allow Terenia Crockett at 2800 Lamar to close an account at 3307 Poplar. Now, Dedrick Hayes was complicit and that he approved this action. See, this is black on black discrimination because they would not treat a white business or a white person this way. To just arbitrarily close your account and tell you that you're a threat. This is a buzzword for racism. See, we in Memphis are role models in our community. In regards to Orange Mound, we have not only the largest community investment of a homeowner, we are a model and a beacon of hope in our community, working with African countries to develop trade and culture. Everything that society asks us to do, we do. We don't owe any banks any money. First Tennessee welcome our return. Now, they even gave me a debit card instantly. Our issue with Regions Bank is to protect our integrity by engaging in front of Regions Bank via peaceful protests against this black on black discrimination. It was Dr. Martin Luther King who says, injustice anywhere is injustice everywhere. And Dr. Martin Luther King did not fight for us to get, it, get in the position that we're in and to allow black on black racism.